Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today I just want to do a quick update on my tomatoes before it starts to rain. Now if you remember from my previous video, my tomato plants were really quite small when I transplanted them into the larger pots. And uh, that was a few weeks ago. Um, since then, they've grown considerably. So here you can see they actually fruited. Got a couple of tomatoes on this plant. A couple more over here. And then over on this one, a couple here and a couple over here as well. Now I think they probably would have done better if it was one plant per pot, but I think they're pretty much choking each other out. Um, the leaves have curled up quite a bit. I'm not sure what that's about, but um, anyway, it was an interesting experiment. Now over here, we've got the cherry tomatoes. As you can see there, there's quite a few have come out. They're still all green, of course. More up here. Some in the middle. And some over here as well. And then on this other plant, got some here. Some back there. Some in right here. some down here. So again, you know, we did get some success with the fruiting. Uh, the flowers were pollinated. There's still some flowers there now, but um, I haven't seen any bees around lately. So uh, pollination is going to be slow. If, well actually, <laughs> our growing season's almost over. There was a risk of frost not too far from here, just the other night. So anyway, that's probably why some of these leaves are starting to turn yellow. It's because, um, you know, we've been getting pretty cold evenings. So you can notice the yellow leaves. And over here as well. Oh, actually, you know, looking through the viewfinder, the leaves don't look so yellow. But looking at them in person, I can see that they're really quite yellow. Now, the uh, basil was kind of interesting. See, this is the normal basil, or the basil that I was expecting, and it's gone to flower. But these other pots have something quite different. And they're flowering as well. My son was here a couple of weeks ago, and he's a grocery manager for a food chain. And he said that those other ones, the ones with the purple blossoms, they're actually Thai basil. Never heard of Thai basil before. But anyway, it has a slightly different flavor than regular basil. So anyway, let's give it a bit of a taste test. Take a bit of a leaf here. And we'll try it out. It almost tastes like a cross between basil and licorice. Not red licorice, black licorice. That's what that tastes like. Hmm. Interesting. Now I'll try the other basil. Yeah, that's... That's regular tasting basil for sure. Hmm. It's getting rid of the uh, the black licorice one. <laughs> I don't really care for that. So next year I'm planning on putting in some more tomatoes, but this time I'll put them in the ground in a raised bed right over here. Right in this area right here. This is uh, facing west, actually. I don't have any south-facing areas that I could plant in, but it gets quite a bit of afternoon sun and even some of the morning sun. Like the morning sun comes up over that fence. 
So I'll put a couple of plants right up against the wall there, and I'll probably put some lower plants, I don't know what yet, but down in front here. So anyway, that's the plan. So, till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.